Well, in today's health alert, we are continuing the conversation on breast cancer education. October, of course, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So joining me is health coach Nora Dano, who's going to show us how we can do some things in our diet to make us healthier and prevent breast cancer. You're in your pink this uh -huh, morning. Uh -huh. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so, so give much. us a little brief overview on how breast cancer develops. Breast cancer is when breast cells starts to grow abnormally and they divide too quickly more than healthy ones. They accumulate forming a lump or mass. Um, they can spread to lymph nodes and other parts of the body. Researchers have identified hormonal, environmental, and uh, lifestyle factors that can lead to the disease. Because it's always it seemed like such a scary thing. It, now we're really learning there's evidence behind what we're eating, what we're putting into our bodies exactly. can affect that. So you've brought us a few tips and tricks that we can start doing right now mm -hmm. to live a better life. Sure. Okay, we will start with the cruciferous vegetables, especially broccoli. Green, 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 right? Green, green, green. Brussels Darker, sprout, better. yep, kale, cabbage, cauliflower. These foods are uh, rich in a group of uh, phytonutrients called glucosinolates that prevents breast cancer. Soy. I know a lot of people think that soy is bad. It's a myth. Researchers have found that soy can decrease the risk by 29%. So consuming only half a cup of soy milk or half a cup of tofu a day can do the job. Especially an alternative to dairy milk and the full fat milk, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Here we have the popcorn, the wild rice, the oatmeal. They're very rich in B vitamins and, and, and fibers and bulgur. It's and they'll keep you favorite. full too, exactly. right? Exactly. Bulgur is very rich in fibers. So also studies have shown that 30 grams of fiber for women who consume it a day can cut the breast cancer by half My of the goodness. risk. So only one cup of bulgur a day can give you eight grams of fibers. And this is one third of the daily recommended dosage. And that's, that's a really easy way to get exactly. it Exactly, you can cook it. All right, it. you yep. brought me some pumpkin. Yeah, it's the <laughs> season now and pumpkin is very rich in fibers. Uh, spinach, peppers, carrots, very rich in carotenoids also reduce the risk of breast cancer, so make sure you consume it. Fresh out the ground, all this stuff is not processed, mm -hmm. right? Uh-huh, nothing. Okay, we have the uh, cucumber, uh, the red onion, sweet potatoes. They're also uh, uh, rich in salicylic acid that reduce the risk. Uh, tomatoes, rich in, um, uh, in uh, lico lycopene, which is um, changed the hormone atipokin that is linked to inflammation and obesity. And the more we are, the greater the weight, the greater the risk. That's what I was going to say also with these, just these are not small or these are not large. They're mm -hmm. smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Don't want those GMOs. And no those GMO. Other. Make sure also for the soy, no GMO, unflavored, unsweetened, um, organic. Fantastic. You can see more things here. The, I think the key here is really just fresh. Thank you so much Thank you so for joining much. us. Thank Lots you. of really good advice uh -huh. since we begin this Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thanks so much for watching TV20 Detroit.